Hey guys, Carl here. Yeah. So today we're going to be fishing uh, for some spotted grunts at one of my favorite spots, the Nuhun River, which is nice and close uh, because it's in the middle of East London. Uh, I had an epic day out on the kayak and managed to catch myself a lacquer meal. Enjoy guys. So what we have here in the net is a cuttlefish. It's like an octopus or a squid that you get in the sea, but it's the river version. And I'm not going to lie, these guys are super tasty to eat. So this one here is going to go home. Here we go, we have our first little spotty for the day. As you can see there she is there, I'm not going to bring her into the boat because I don't want to get her hurt. So we're just going to grab the hook remover, and just get her free. And there we go, there she goes. I'm not too sure what we got on here at the moment. Okay. The young spotted grunter for you. Hey guys, there's the target species for the day. Spotted grunter. Let's get her in the boat and get her back. Hey guys, so I've literally just boated this fish that I had on the other rod, and then now my second rod goes. Uh, let's see if we can have two in the boat, one shot. Hey, and Bob's your uncle. It's a second spotted grunter. So number three for the day. Nothing of legal size just yet, but uh, there we go. Okay guys, let's just get the first one back in the water here quickly. So there we go. There's another little spotted grunter. Probably about uh, 300. Your legal size for a spotted grunter is 400 and you're allowed four per person per day. Don't catch a limit guys, limit your catch. Remember sustainability and fishing for the future. This little one is 300. So we're gonna put it back and look for her mom or dad. There we go. Let's just get this one in the boat. There we go, guys. Spotty number four for the day. There we go, guys. Number five for the day. Smallest one so far, but it's just nice to see that the river's healthy and that the fish are breeding. And there we go. Another little spotty. That is number seven for the day. Hopefully your mom or dad comes in Charles here now. Number 8 for the day. See, we haven't managed to find any of the, the bigger fish today. It's just a positive sign because I mean it shows you that the, the river is healthy. There are bigger fish around because um, without them there wouldn't be these smaller fish. So they are breeding so it is a positive sign. Hey okay, guys, so we're back. It's been 3 days since we were out on the river. And we've got ourselves a couple of fish down here. First step now is to just clean it. So like you would with a normal squid, you want to pull the wings and the skin off. Now cuttlefish is very similar to a squid with the only main difference being that you find these in the river. So it makes really good eating meat. So you don't have to soak it in milk or try to tenderize it before you cook it. Pull the backbone out. Now a lot of guys like to use the ink as part of the cooking process, but uh, we're going to be deep frying this cuttlefish today. So we're not going to have a need for the for the ink. Okay guys, so you don't need too high of a heat, just a moderate heat that it fries. You don't want it to cook too quickly. Put these pieces over and our onion. You can see it's cooking quite quickly. We're almost done already. It's been in for about a minute and a little bit and you can see that these pieces are almost done being cooked. So the cuttlefish is done already. So I'm going to take all the pieces out the pan. I'm going to give our onion another few minutes to just brown up there, but the cuttlefish is done. Got our wrap laid out on the on the plate here. I'm going to take some mayo and just paste the tortilla or wrap, whatever you want to call it. Put a couple pieces of lettuce on. Now we can grab our cuttlefish. Our nice deep fried cuttlefish and put that on. Now we grab a handful of the fried onion. Just chuck that all around on top. Now mission of rolling it up. It's a very full wrap, I'm not gonna lie. And there we go, as you can see, we have got ourselves a very full, but very tasty, cuttlefish wrap. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of this episode. 
Uh, we had a good day on the river. We got a total of 11 spotted grunter. Uh, we also managed to get us all the cuttlefish, which we made the wrap out of. Um, but yeah, guys, remember sustainability. Uh, don't catch your limit, limit your catch. And remember fishing for the future. We also want our kids to catch fish like this one day. Um, so yeah, guys, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.